This does not feel like a carb. I'm not sure what it is. Are you kidding me? What's up, everyone? I went out this morning targeting fall fish, as crazy as that sounds, and I have a few hours to spare, so I'm gonna get out and target the carp. You guys seem to really enjoy those carp fishing videos. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I also have some leftover worms and mealworms, so I'm gonna see if I can maybe catch some uh, bluegill or, or crappy or whatever else is swimming around here to pass the time, but I hope you guys enjoy. Well, I have something that I want to show you guys. I mentioned in my last video that when you're carp fishing, you generally want to bait the hole you're fishing in. And there are a few ways you can do that. You can rebait frequently when you first get to the spot. Uh, they make slingshots where you can throw out chum. But this contraption here is pretty cool. And it's a bomb that you basically chum your spot with. So you can put corn, you can put pops, you can put whatever in here. But I'm just going to put some of our uh, rice that we have in here. And basically, you throw it out. And when this button hits bottom, it chums the spot. And you reel it back in and you keep doing it as long as necessary. Um, but I'm going to do that here. Try to put some bait in the water. Get the carp moving in. And uh, we'll get to fishing. Once it hit that water, it's going to release the bait and I just reel it back in and we can repeat the process. I'll do this probably two, three, four times to chum the hole I'm going to be fishing in here. Pretty cool. There we go. What do we have here? Some type of sunfish. Let's see how my identification skills are. Well, that one's pretty straightforward. That, my friends, is a pretty standard bluegill. Fun way to pass the time here while we're waiting for the carp to move in. Thanks, buddy. You're catching mostly bluegill. It's okay, I thought I was gonna to need to identify a bunch of different species, but so far that hasn't been the case. Another one. What do we have? Same, same. Just little guys. Now, one thing to note about these bluegill is that they have the rounded spot behind the ear. They usually have blue coloration here under their gills, below their mouth. But they also, importantly, have this dark spot near the back of their dorsal fin. Do you see the black there? That's one way to identify bluegill. All these sunfish species can get confusing at times because they do look similar. Now I know the main point of this video is carp fishing, but just so you guys know what I'm doing for these uh, bluegill and these sunfish in general, I have a worm down there at the bottom on a trout magnet jig head, but you can use um, just a plain hook as well. I have no weight there and I have this small float at the top here. Now, one common mistake a lot of people make when they're fishing with a float 
is that they put the bait far too close to the float and then they throw it out into the middle of the pond or the lake or whatever you're just missing a lot of opportunities here i'm using this float or this cork as a bit of a popping cork i'm pop 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 let it sit for a second pop 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 let it sit and that's how you're going to pick up a lot of your bites on these uh, crappy and these sunfish now i have no idea why this happens or what species of snail these are but sometimes when i'm out here carp fishing these snails will ingest your hooks completely and your bread so that's a problem and i'm not sure how to contend with that but it's rare that you have to unhook a snail but i mean it's not like you're snagging these guys they are eating your hooks it's crazy fish on well we're upgrading still bluegill but better than what we've been getting man everyone remembers from when they were a kid just getting out and catching bluegill catching brim sunfish whatever you call them back when things were simpler a lot of people cut their teeth catching those guys and a lot of us as we get older just don't target them anymore they can still be a fun time Now that was weird i was hung up and i was just pulling it loose and we have a new species here what are we working with wow that guy is gorgeous i believe what we have here is, he's small so it's difficult to tell is a green sunfish and i think that's the case because his mouth is really large relative to the rest of his body do you see that beautiful blue coloration there so nice and he has the orange tips on his fin so i believe this is a green sunfish here but i'll confirm later fish on this does not feel like a carp i'm not sure what it is fighting weird are you kidding me I knew it was fighting funny it is a snapping turtle that is no bueno no bueno Dude, he is mad. Hold on. How are we going to do this? Ugh. Goodness gracious. is angry do you hear him hissing he, oh my goodness gracious he's trying to kill me nope he, oh my gracious he's trying to kill me get some okay i don't know what to do of course i don't have any pliers down here with me so i gotta take our buddy up to the truck no good I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this actually I 
think I'll just have to I don't know oh goodness gracious and my only scissors are tiny I feel like I'm gonna get my hand bitten off if I try to do this do y'all see him biting my net buddy I'm trying to help you please don't bite me yeah 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 do that keep biting the net bite the net again and then I'll cut you free bite the net bite the net and not me bite the net oh gosh dear gosh do not bite me oh This is awful. You're lucky I'm nice, man. Hope you make it. Ah, oh, bro. Come on. Y'all, I was hoping to stick around until we get these carp baited in, but... The weather app makes it seem like we're about to have a storm roll in, so if there's one thing I don't want to do, it's sit here and get struck by lightning. So we may be calling it quits without a carp. I don't like going home empty handed, but it was interesting even without a carp. That snapping turtle and bluegill and whatnot, but I'll give it a couple more minutes, but we may go home empty handed. Well guys, that's gonna do it for us. I wanted to stick around and wait to get the carp baited in, but I don't wanna get struck by lightning either. So we're gonna call it quits, go home empty handed. I still had a good time just passing the time catching bluegill and uh, various sunfish and the snapping turtle definitely made it interesting, but yeah, we'll get them next time. And that's how it goes on occasion, but I figured I'd post this video either way so y'all could see my, uh, encounter and that I came away with all my fingers. So hope you all enjoy. Take care.